Hi, my name is Darren Merlob. I'm the owner of Leaktronics. We're here today to do a demonstration on proper pressure testing, pressure testing safety, determining whether there's a leak in a pipe, and then actually locating it with the electronic equipment. This is the pressure rig made by Leaktronics. It has induction plugs that we could screw on the end of it from one inch to two inch, which are the most popular sizes in the swimming pool industry. It also allows you to mix air and water in the chamber. So water comes through this, air comes through this, you can control it both with the valves, always watching your pressure, and what you're doing is you're mixing the air and water and sending it out to the pipe. What that does is it creates a very distinct boil. So on PVC pipe or plastic pipes, you're never just gonna hear air and you're never just gonna hear water, but you're always going to hear the combination, which will sound like a boil, which we're gonna demonstrate right now. So we're going to be testing this two inch line that's behind me with the pressure rig. Again, using water only, we're gonna pressure it up. And then if it's leaking, that's when we're gonna show you how to use air to introduce into the leak to create that boil. Then we're gonna show you how to use the deck plate and soil probe. So we install our solid plug into the pipe, giving it a couple of turns to make sure it's in tight. Then we install our injector plug into the pipe, again, giving it a couple of turns. Then we hook up our garden hose for fresh water. And again, we're going to be using water only for our test. We don't mix water and air to do the test, it's water only. Watch the gauge, watch the drop. We have a leak. So now that we, we built it up to 10 or 12 pounds, which we never want to go over 10 or 12 pounds of pressure for proper safety. You never want to stand above a plug. You never want to stand in front of a plug. It could be dangerous when you put them under pressure because they could blow out and they could do damage. So when we bring it up to 12 pounds, as we did, we have our drop. It dropped down to five pounds in probably less than a minute, which is telling us it's not holding pressure. So we have a leak. So yes, we pressure tested the pipe. But no, we didn't find out where the leak is. Now we're gonna show you how to do it with both. So now that we have it with induced with, with water, we're gonna bring it back up, we're gonna let it drop, then we're gonna show you how we add air and how we listen. On hard concrete, we're gonna use the deck plate, and on soil, rocky conditions, grass, we're gonna use the soil probe. So we hook up our air now to our compressor. We use a six pound compressor, and we're gonna bring our water up, let it drop on its own, then we're gonna hit it with air, trying never to get above 12 to 15 pounds. As we're doing that, you're gonna have the other guy listening with the deck plate through solid concrete. He's gonna be checking it, moving that deck plate at about 12 inch intervals, listening for that distinct boiling sound. Then we use our soil probe for when we're not on solid surfaces, when we're listening in a rocky area. And again, we probe it, moving the probe 10 to 12 inches each time. We heard this leak, so now we're gonna get right over it mark our location we're going to set an x in the middle and that's the area that needs to get cut and excavated